Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys are doing well and you've been taking care of yourselves. So, yeah, I know it's been a while, guys, and I'm, I'm very sorry I have not made any videos. I've had uh, just some things going on. Wife was sick. Uh, my mom's been having problems, so I've been dealing with that. You know, two of the most important women in my life having issues, so I am... Uh, a lot better now or rather they are a lot better now and you know I'm able to do this again so uh, you should be seeing more videos coming out and also live streams so anyway let's go ahead and get into it wanted to go over a couple things here uh, first of all XRP is definitely setting up for something important here I mean the range has gotten uh, really pretty tight here um, it looks like we could we could actually have a breakout. It may break down, but considering what's on the horizon here, um, we could see a, a leg up. I am I am still kind of looking into this whole TA thing. So uh, just looking at uh, historical charts and also listening to some you know some guys who are a lot smarter than I am uh, when it comes to this stuff, I am starting to see how this all Kind of works out so like i said we could break down but uh from what i understand we could definitely break to the upside as well but we'll just have to see uh, like i said we do have the whole spark uh situation happening here coming up on the 12th there's still time for that if you have not set it up if you don't want to com totally understand I've, i have been seeing a lot of people saying that they don't trust it and whatnot but uh me personally the way I see it is, guys, you if you're gonna if you're concerned about the government or some entity possibly um, taking your coins or knowing what you have and thereby forcing you to pay taxes at some point when you cash out. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're gonna have to pay taxes anyway. Uh, whenever you cash out, you're gonna have to go through a bank. They're gonna report it. Not only are is the bank going to report it, the um, uh, the exchange is going to uh, report it as well. So I don't, I don't think there's any real way around it. Uh, and even to that, you know, as much as we hate to do it, it's really not that much. I mean, honestly, if you've had it, which most of us have been holding on to our, our XRP for, you know, a number of years now, more than, you know, plus two plus years, um, you're, you're only going to be charged 15% anyway. So, um, uh, or 20% if it's less than two years, from what I understand. So uh, if I am, you know, that's what I read. And if I am uh, incorrect or if you, anybody's seeing something else, please make sure you put that in the, the comments. Uh, we can definitely talk about that during the live stream. But either way, uh, this is happening now. Another thing about this, uh, and I, I do want to stop here and say huge shout out to Blockchain Backer. He uh, actually inspired me to really look deeper into this TA thing. It's uh, He actually made it a lot easier to understand and just more interesting because uh, me, I, I do like facts and kind of straightforwardness and, and definitely uh, the whole sober reality situation uh, for me is the most interesting. So, and he just puts it right there and makes it very clear. So definitely huge shout out to him. Um, but I was looking at one of his videos, I think it was earlier today, and he was mentioning something that um, <laughs> I thought about when I first talked, or rather saw this Spark token airdrop. So one thing that always happens after an airdrop, right, is the price of that token just absolutely drops, okay? Now, a lot of people are going to be claiming this token and, 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 of course, selling it right away. So that is going to make the bottom fall out. Now, it'll, I don't, nobody knows what it's going to come out as, what price or anything like that. So uh, if it's high enough, I might even sell mine. <laughs> I mean, if it's like five, ten cents or, you know, 20 cents or whatever, uh, I might very well take advantage of it myself. But in the long, in the long run, um, when XRP does go up in value and you start seeing um, Spark really kind of settle in and, and find its groove, uh, 
ultimately the price will come up but it's very likely that we could see a huge drop in that price whatever it comes out as and there's no telling where xrp is going we do have quite a lot of stuff happening as far as xrp is concerned we have today where steve mnuchin was saying that you know in this article right here or rather this tweet uh, he said productive g7 call this morning we discussed the effective actions in response to COVID 19 strategies to achieve a robust recovery and cryptocurrency so <clears throat> they did speak about cryptocurrencies which is awesome uh this kind of goes against the rumor that was out there that uh mnuchin was uh trying to ramrod some uh, law through or a uh, bill through that would um uh kind of hinder or or penalize people who were doing so who, who were uh yeah doing self-custody um so hopefully that whole thing was just a rumor i have not heard anything else about it so we'll see hopefully it's uh it is something you know w what happens next will be a benefit to us but again we just kind of have to sit back and watch okay so as far as crypto is concerned i'm going to go ahead and move off of that and get into some of the other things that are going on now um, Rob Hurst CPA. Now, I'm not sure who this is, but I saw this tweet a little bit earlier and I uh, just thought it was interesting enough to go over. Now, as you can see, <laughs> this claim is disputed, as it says here, which Twitter does quite a lot. But he says, uh, using sequestered Dominion equipment, Ware County ran an equal number of Trump votes and Biden votes through the tabulator, and the tabulator reported a 26% lead for Biden. You know, obviously, it should have been even. He goes on to say 37 Trump votes used in the equal sample run had been switched from Trump to Biden. In actual algorithm, algorithm, algorithmic, <laughs> if I could speak, terms, this means that a vote for Trump was counted as 87% of a vote and a vote for Biden was counted as 113% of a vote. Okay, so that kind of... Uh, speaks to what they have been talking about for a while now and I know a lot of people out there who are Democrats don't want to see this but guys I'm going to tell you this I understand we've been uh, taught to have this whole my team your team type of mentality but there this is not the case here in this particular case it is about the state of the place you live in okay whether you are a pro US uh, uh, person or not you have to understand that you are a nobody when it comes to the uh, you know in the eyes of these elite okay they don't care about you their whole purpose or what they want is to absolutely destroy this country and and essentially wrap the united states up very neatly and divide it up amongst whoever wants to buy it all right, and it, it, I'm putting it in very nice terms. The things that are actually planned are, are just beyond horrific. All you have to do, if you really want to know what's planned, all you have to do is look at what's going on in China right now. If you don't know, look it up. I'm not going to tell you. Look it up. There are things going on in China that are, it's just absolutely unbelievable. OK, so you have to do your research on this. This this is not a, this isn't a football game. This isn't a basketball game. There isn't a, a you know, this side versus this side. This is us uh, defending ourselves against these globalists. OK, just please understand that and a lot of people have just gotten in their head, gotten it in their heads that, uh, you know, this is just. You know, you're for Biden and Trump lost. OK, no, if Trump loses, we all lose. Biden is a bought and paid for corrupt individual. He's he's even said it himself. Right. He knows what he's capable of. And, and, and to be honest with you, he wouldn't even be in office very long if he did take the seat. OK, it would be Kamala. So just. You know, get your heads right, do your research, and show me something that 
can prove all of this information wrong if you are so hell bent on Biden. Okay. All right. So let's just go ahead and move on. Uh, no, not there. All right. Again, Infowars. This is you know definitely a site you might want to go to just to kind of get the real deal. All right. This will here they they're going to give you the information of of what's going on. All right. Now today <clears throat> there was a a hearing or a, 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 a yeah hearing with Sidney Powell in Georgia, and they ultimately certified the uh, the this fraudulent victory for Biden. Okay. Despite all of the information, all the proof of fraud. Okay. They still certified it. Now, the uh, and I think this is the the Supreme Court. Um, official there he went ahead and certified it I don't know uh, honestly if uh, this this there's another report that someone's daughter's boyfriend ended up dying in a fiery car crash right so I don't know if if that has something to do with this maybe the guy was afraid if he is that person but either way um, he's definitely put him put himself in jeopardy uh, of uh, of some prison time okay because this is this was illegal an illegal certification didn't even look at the at the uh, evidence he was really just saying well why didn't they do it before you know no dude they're doing it now they're they're bringing this to the courts now it doesn't matter what happened before so anyway this is what happened today you might want to take a look at this listen listen to this for yourself you can go to infowars and go right here and click on this uh, particular article. Let's go ahead and move on. I've, uh, now, this is something, you know what, before I get here, I'm going to go ahead and go over this. Uh, again, Ware County, Georgia has broken the Dominion al algorithm. Uh, goes on to say, using sequestered Dominion equipment, Ware County ran an equal number of Trump votes. So this uh, this is a a uh, a channel you might or an account you might want to follow on YouTube. Uh, and on Twitter, I believe, uh, there, actually, I think this is, uh, yeah, it is Bore Clone on Twitter as well. So anyway, the, um, uh, the, the situation that, uh, they're dealing with the fact that they are able to go in and actually see how this is all working, how these Dominion, um, machines are, uh, manipulating the vote. It's, it's very, very interesting and very troubling, to say the least. Um, you know, it's it's crazy how all this is happening. Uh, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And guys, do not count Trump out. All right. If you are a uh, you if you are someone who is supporting Trump and what he's done and doing for the country and what he plans on doing, don't count him out yet. Because let's go right back here okay so I don't know if this has anything to do with uh, the election okay however some information that I saw on uh, Infowars all right speaks I believe to this particular tweet he says my friend wife got a mysterious text today from a co-worker in the Army Reserves. Okay, he's, he was called up today and told her, get prepared. She asked for details, but hasn't heard back from him since. Anyone anyone else hearing uh, similar rumblings? Now guys, this could be something very different. However, the information that I got from InfoWars, uh, basically, there are troops deployed all over the United States. Okay, um, it's very likely there could be mass arrests happening very, very soon. Okay, they could be, they could very well be uh, gearing up for a, a huge operation, which we will eventually see at some point. You know, one thing that did happen as well, Trump did, he did increase the size of Gitmo. And, um, hey, <laughs> all I can say is just hold your hold your horses or, or you know hold on to your hats or however you want to say it 
be ready. Like he said, just get prepared for whatever happens, guys. There's some other things that I heard about, uh, you know, some CME or, you know, uh, coronal mass injection, ejection. Uh, who knows, guys? Who knows what's going to happen? All I can tell you is make sure you get you a little bit of extra food. This is stuff I've been saying for months now. Extra food, water, um, have your, you know, protection set up, whatever that might be. Uh, have a plan if you're at work. Uh, if your wife is not there, your kids are not there, have a way for everyone to get get to a specific place for all of you to meet up and be ready for whatever happens, guys. Um, please excuse me for kind of the rambling I've been doing. Uh, I'm a little out of practice here, so, uh, you know, I hope you guys forgive my uh, just kind of, like I said, kind of sounding like I'm rambling. But either way. I definitely appreciate you guys uh, sticking with me. I, I, I've lost a few subscribers, but nothing uh, too substantial. And again, I really appreciate those who have stayed around. Um, I am definitely going to try to stay on top of this, at least until things kind of settle down a little bit. Or XRP moves, one of the two, if not both. So anyway, guys, again, take care of yourselves. Make sure you have your families right. Please get yourselves right with the creator if you have not done so already. I'm telling you, it's more important than pretty much anything else you can do in your lives, as far as I'm concerned. So, all right, guys. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.